it's iTechSpot here and today I'm gonna show you how to make your iPhone 6 feel and look like an iPhone 6s. So let's get started. Alright guys, so some of the tweaks I will be showing you today require a custom source. So these custom sources will be on screen or they will be in the description down below. Alright guys, so the first tweak we have here is reveal menu. So what this tweak basically does is give you the 3D touch interface on your iOS device. So we're just going to go head on to my springboard here. So all we have to do is short hold on the icon we want to force touch. So we're just going to do 3D touch on the camera app. And we have more options here. Next up, we're going to do it on music. And there we go. Next up, we're going to do weather. And we have another one. And lastly, we have safari. And that is reveal menu. Okay guys, so the next tweak we have here is haptical. So what this tweak basically does is give you the taptic engine feel on your iPhone 6. So if we go into our springboard and we short hold on an icon, we'll feel the same vibrate from the iPhone 6s. So the next tweak we have here is shortcuts. So what this does is give you 3D touch features on applications that are not supported. So if we go into our springboard here, so I'm just gonna 3D touch on settings. All right, now we have weather. All right, so there we go. And another feature here is Cydia. So this tweak is called shortcuts. All right guys, so this tweak is called universal force. So what this basically does is give you peek and pop features on your iOS device. So we're just gonna head on to photos here. And all we have to do is peek right here and put our finger more on the screen to pop. So I'll show you guys again. So we just peek and then pop. So one more time, peek and pop, All right? So next thing we can do is we could head on to Instagram and we could also peek and pop on other people's photos. So here we go. All right, and one more time, and there we go. So this tweak is called universal force. Alright guys, so the next tweak we have here is enable live photos. So what this tweak does is give you the live photos toggle on your camera application. So if we head on to the camera application here, we'll have the toggle on the top here of my device. So if we take a picture, and we'll have to just force touch on the photo. All right? so here is one example. So you can't really see it on this photo. But on this photo, you could see that if we 3D touch it, we will see that it moves. So this is live photos. Alright guys, so the next tweak we have here is swipe selection. So what this tweak is, is that it gives you this 3D touch feature that the iPhone 6S has. So we're just going to demonstrate in notes. So all we have to do is tap to edit. And all we have to do is grab to our keyboard and we could move around with the cursor. So this is swipe selection. All right guys, the next tweak we have here is untethered Hey Siri. So what this does is it gives you the option to use Hey Siri when you are not plugged in. So what you guys wanna do is just go into settings. And you guys wanna go into general, Siri, and you wanna put it into always. So make sure you set up Hey Siri first. So here we go, I'm just gonna demonstrate. So, Hey Siri. So there we go, we got Siri working and I'm not plugged in. So that is untethered Hey Siri. Next up, we have the live wall enabler. So what this tweak does is give you live wallpapers on your iDevice. So in order to have this tweak installed in your device, you need to install iFile. So this right here. Now after you do that, all you wanna do is head on to the App Store and you're gonna download Mega. After you do that, you want to head back into Cydia, go back to the live wall enable tweak, and you just want to hit download right here. Next up, you'll have this prompt that'll pop up. All you want to do is hit OK. Now, all you want to do is hit download to your mega app. So what you guys want to do here is either create an account or log in. All right, guys, so I have logged in. So all you want to do is hit on the file and it'll load up. All right, so it's done. You just want to hit on this toggle here and you want to hit copy to iFile. So iFile will 
open up. So all you guys want to do now is hit installer. Once you guys do that, you want to head on to settings. Now what you guys want to do is go into wallpaper. Choose a new wallpaper. You want to go into live and there we go. So we have the live wallpapers here. So one thing to remember is that if you have any lock screen tweaks, this will interfere with this tweak. So I'm just going to lock my device. Alright, so all we have to do is 3D touch and there we go. So this is live wallpaper enabler. Alright guys, this is all I have for you today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as there's more YouTube videos coming to you soon. This is iTechSpot. Have a great day guys. Peace.